I just made a couple of videos uh, with the white stripes on and I don't know if it's this new software but it was so loud the white stripes where they drown out my voice so I turned them off but it's a good album it's the first time I ever heard it before I'll tell you what the album is called real quick where the heck oh here we go they still I may have listened to this before I used to listen, I got them all, a bunch of White Stripes albums all at the same time, like in, when I was living in Chicago in like 2003 or something, and uh, never really had a chance to discern what was what. I listened to it all, it was just very noisy. Now that I've had an opportunity to learn music, I really have an appreciation for Jack White. His uh, technical guitar skills are something special, out of this world, very unique. I see why him and like Jimmy Page hang out. He's just a, he's stellar. But what's so stellar about him is the way he, dun, 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 but the way he sings as he's doing it is like, yeah, that's, that's when you know, like Jimi Hendrix style quality. Love him. Love the white stripes. I think we're good. As humans, I think we're doing pretty good. Now, <laughs> I only got a furrow in my brow because it's the third time I've said it tonight and it's like four in the morning. It's not really, it's like 2, 11 a.m. Um, but I think we're doing good as humans, uh, and I'll tell you why. And I'll tell you, it does suck the way that other animals have bit it in our presence. But it sucked the way that other animals ate us and slaughtered us and terrified us for hundreds of thousands of years before that, so fuck you. Uh, yeah, humans are tough. We can always genetically remodify some of these things if we want them back, but like, alligators, are you fucking kidding me? You want your kids around those things? Uh, yeah, so it's nice that we've let them live. I mean, most of the animals have just died a long time ago when we murdered them and we didn't write it down, so... <sighs> Life is harsh. We've done pretty good. We have to clean up the ocean. This is what we're doing right now. We have to cool down the earth by spraying water, I think, by spraying water into the atmosphere to release methane and then create ozone. That'll cool, help us cool it down. If you can think of other ways to help us cool down the atmosphere too, I'd like to hear them. I know we can actually remove carbon from it by depositing it on like ammonia boring to create graphene, which is an interesting uh, fuel for graphene rather than mining the carbon to actually pull it out of the atmosphere. I think, I think it uh, could help us cool down, cool it down, but I don't know that the, that the carbon at this level is actually even doing that much damage from what I've been reading and listening to. It's like, it's, it's not at levels yet that it's really doing much damage. Uh, it would have to be like at twice, it would say like 600, 400 parts per million, million right now. And I think only until it gets to like 800 parts per million. Elon Musk was talking about this. But still, it's the trend that's important. So we want a trend of negative or of balance. Keep it homeostatic around 200 to 400 parts per million. You know, carbon's cool. Carbon's nice. And once we get the plastic out of the ocean, we can break it down with mushrooms and bacteria. And then eat it reuse all that stuff and then you can mix it with stuff and make strong building materials out of it. it's like a sugar breaks down into sugar and then we put iron oxide into the ocean and the plankton eats it and grows and then it gives fish it's called uh, iron fertilization and the fish have massive amounts of food and will regenerate the popu fish population around the planet and when we build our AI, we'll build it with a free software so that whenever the AI writes itself, it'll do it in public and any changes that get made to the code are public changes and we'll be able to interface with it publicly and we'll have benevolent AI. One language is very important. I don't know if it's the most important the most important because when it comes down to it, we're all cool, but yeah, one language, man. So. I like English because it's already so proliferated and you know I thought like am I being lazy that I want to make everyone in the world able to speak English just because I already know how to do it no if I was born in China I'd be watching Hollywood movies and be like mimicking what they were what you know and I'd want to like go to Hollywood and be an actor be become so in that sense being an actor and a musician and things is fantastic because you have the opportunity to teach English to people in an entertaining way But I'm totally down with learning other languages. Yo soy. 
Espanol. <laughs> what? I've been out of practice. Me encanto Espanol. Espanol is bueno. It's muy bueno. I love Spanish. Spanish is awesome. Unfortunately, there's no real good word for awesome in Spanish yet that I know. There's, there's good words, but awesome. Okay, that's my plan right now. Um, I know that's not every, that's not everything, of course. I could, I could go on, but I'm gonna leave it there. And let me know if you have any ideas to add to that about patterns or paths you'd like to take or think that I should alter or change about this next two to 17 year plan. Realistically, I'd like to call it a two to seven year plan, but I'm gonna give myself some breathing room. And then we'll be on Mars, which by the way, they landed the Mars rover today. Uh, a probe and they're digging down in so I think what's gonna happen is they're gonna go through the ice and sea ocean um, I think what happened was a long time ago I've, I've said this before on a video a long time ago that like I was four billion years ago maybe they see this the Marianas Trench is that what it's called on on Mars it's this giant long ripped open chasm on Mars I'm like what did that probably like a interplanetary planetoid planetoid body smacking into it and then rolling across the surface just like dragging across spewing all that mantle up into the atmosphere that rusted and then fell back down to the surface of the iron oxide dust that makes it so red that's why mars has red iron oxide dust on the surface i think and if you if there's a if you think there's another way put it in the comments if you think i'm right put it in the comments comment um so then also i i guess that caused a cloud of iron in the in the atmosphere which caused the surface to just freeze like could, the sun couldn't get through and then all that ocean water everything well probably first what happened was it was a firestorm and all the water evaporated and then it blocked out the sun and it it froze everything maybe maybe but they found ice under the under the thing because water persists water lives Water is life. Water is uh, prevalent. It's good stuff. Water. Very excited to see what uh, what that probe finds. Yo, I think that's it, dog. Peace and love, much prosperity.